what's up guys I'm back again with another video and this is actually a blue and red smoky eye um, I got the idea from the 4th of July is coming up and I guess you guys can probably do this look you know when you go out or whatnot and on my lips I'm wearing Ho by Rihanna from the new Riri Loves Mac um, summer collection if you guys want to see exactly how I got this look then keep on watching Okay, I started off by priming my eyelid with eyeshadow primer potion by Urban Decay. Now I'm taking a Ruby Kisses gel liner in the color teal, and I'm going to be using this gel liner as a base. And all it's going to do is give something for my eyeshadow to adhere to, and it's also going to make that eyeshadow pop that I'll be placing down. And now I'm taking a blending brush, and I'm just blending out the edges of the the teal gel liner now I'm taking an NYC trio palette that I bought these are actually new that just came out from Walmart and they're very very pigmented I'm taking that blue color from the palette and I'm just gonna pack that blue all over my lid and when I get to the outer corner I'm gonna actually take the color a little bit above into my crease that way I'll have something to blend into my crease area and I'm just taking my blending brush and I'm smoothing out the edges because I don't want any harsh lines. I want everything to be well blended. Like so. And just keep blending until you get it how you want it to be. Now I'm using the BH Day and Night palette and I'm taking that red from the palette and I'm going to put that right into my crease. Actually a little bit above my crease. And I'm just going to blend it upwards. And I'm taking this color all the way to the inner tear duct also. And I'm just blending it until I get it smooth like I want it. Now I'm taking an NYX's eye single eyeshadow in the color black. And I'm just going to put this on my outer V area to give my eyes a little bit more depth to make it a little bit more smoky on the outer corners. And I'm just taking my crease brush and putting it into my crease, making sure that I blend it upwards. Make sure that it's well blended because you don't want any harsh lines. I'm just going back and forth blending between the red and the black now i'm taking that highlighter color that white shimmery color from that same trio palette and i'm putting that under my bra bone using it as a highlight and i'm actually bringing this highlight down into the red also and i'm going to blend those two colors together using the same blending brush that i used to put the red on You want everything to have a gradient effect. You don't want any harsh lines. You don't want to be able to see where the colors meet. Now this is a NYX's shimmery um, pigment, I believe, in the containers. This is my first time using them. Um, it's very, very pretty. And I just put that on my lid and spread it all out over my lid. Now I'm putting a little bit of that color into my tear duct area to give me that little pop to make my eyes appear bigger. And I'm taking that shimmery white color and I'm putting that over the shimmer also. Now I'm dusting off the powder from underneath my eyes. That way, whatever fallout was there, you know, is gone. And now I'm cleaning it up with a little bit of concealer on my concealer brush. And now I'm just going back over it with powder once more. The, eyeshadow, the eyelashes that I applied are the Demi Wispies 120. Now I'm taking an NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm going to apply this to my waterline. And this just opened my eyes up a little bit more also. And I'm just setting that with that white shimmery eyeshadow from the Trio palette. 
that makes the the um eyeliner last longer also once you set it and whatever was left over on that um eyeshadow brush i'm just taking it and running it underneath my lash line i'm actually going to apply a little bit more blue shadow to it and run it underneath my lash line once more I don't want it to be as dark, so as you can see, that's why I just used what was left over on the brush. I don't want it to be as harsh, well. Now I'm going back into that shimmery color and I'm putting it underneath my lash line in the inner corner. I love this stuff. I'm going to have to, I think I bought like four colors, but this is the blue one that I'm using. I love them. Now I'm using my Falsies Mascara and I'm just blending my natural lash with my false lash. And I'm also going to apply two coats to my bottom lashes also. My eyes are so big. <laughs> So excuse the bucking. I hope I'm not scaring anyone. Now I'm going to take NARS in the color Deep Throat. <laughs> I can't believe they named this blush Deep Throat. But I'm just going to put that on the apples of my cheeks. It's like a soft pink. It's not too overpowering. I didn't want to go too, too bright or too, you know, orangey or anything so it's kind of like a peachy soft pink color because my eyes are so dramatic I wanted to keep the cheeks simple and I'm just blending that in with my contour now I'm using elf's facial whip cream it's like a shimmery whip I'm going to be using this as a highlight and I'm just taking my finger and rubbing it in because it's so watery and that kind of activated a little bit when you rub it in and I'm just taking a blush brush and I'm going to apply that to the highlight underneath my eyes. Did I say the highlight underneath my eyes? I meant my cheekbones. You know what I mean. Just highlight my cheekbones, basically. And I'm also going to be highlighting the bridge of my nose, my big forehead, and my chin. I hate how white I look. I got to get my lighting together so you guys can really see. I'm not that bright. It's just the way it's coming off on camera. Um, I'm taking a lip pencil. I'm not sure. I think it's called Cremiola or something like that. I got it from my local beauty supply store. But it's in the color Cabaret or Cabaret. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But it's sort of like a wine color. And I'm just taking this pencil and I'm going to line my lips with it. And I'm also going to shade in the inner corners of my lips. My lips are so small also. So I kind of line a little bit above my lip line. Not too much because I hate when people overdo it. But just a little bit above my line. Now I'm going to be using, it's, it looked like it's pronounced Hex, but it's pronounced Ho. And it's the new Rihanna um, lipstick from the Riri Loves MAC Summer Collection. And it's the berry color lipstick. I love it. It's so pretty. Like a wine color. And I didn't want to go too traditional with the patriotic red, white, and blue. That's why I kind of like made it a little smoky and just, you know, with the wine color instead of red, red. Because I know a lot of people is going to be doing red. I hope you guys enjoyed this look.